Get the shoes. You get the money. Yeah, over here. So the clip you've seen before, it's not like that. It's not like that. It does not look like this while you work at Food Looker. So in this video, guys, you requested. So many guys actually always DM me on Instagram whenever I post a picture that I'm in at Food Looker that I work there. People just DM me like asking me about the job. If I could do a video, and I've seen so many people do videos about the whole working at Food Looker thing, but I've never seen someone in Europe actually do it. I've seen three guys do it. We were in the USA, but I'm currently in Europe. And yeah, those are the new stripes that we got. You see the black sleeves usually you had the full white and black here But we have black sleeves and we got the website on the back So this is like the new thing that we got. I like them more than the old ones Yeah, in this video I'm gonna talk about a few points like how to get in how how, it, how did I start? How is it working at Food Locker and backdooring? How, how does it go? And also all about the shifts, the discount, and all you want to know, the, all the info, I have a few points that I wrote down, I'm going to talk about. So if you have any other questions about the job, let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It will mean the world to me, guys. Your love and support means the world to me. And also go check out my Instagram, actually. I'm going to post a picture. I'll post a picture later today about the Super Bowl. So go and comment down below. I need your opinions and all that. So okay, check it out. Enough talking. Let's go and start with the video. So I'm gonna look at my phone and also like read the points that I have to say, I have to explain. So, first of all, how to get in, how did I start and how all that shit. So, my manager, actually I followed him, like we were following each other on Instagram. I'm in Regensburg, which is like a, not a huge city, but I knew my manager like even before I started working at Food Locker. And I asked him if they need workers, they always do need workers, so you need to go to the site, the website. And go search for like the position you want to work at send your application and before they even before footlocker even gets your application you do have to do a test yes and i'm in germany and the test was <laughs> it had maths in it yes i said maths i don't know why but i was quick maths with it two plus two is four minus one that's three quick maths and you have german there are a few words synonyms and all that and you had a few weird questions, actually, like around 100 questions that they repeat themselves with different options. So they check that you're not actually like randomly choosing the answers. So you have to pass this exam so they get your application. So if you don't pass this exam, they don't get your application at all. So that's the first thing. The first thing. I did that exam. It took, it took like oh, 20 minutes, I would say. And yeah, then after they get my, got my like application, the manager called me and he was like, yeah, can you come by for an interview like later this week? And I was like, yeah, sure. I went there, they started talking to you about like why you want to work here and yeah, all that stuff about sneakers. If, if Yeah, to know you better about your personality, about your how you act in certain situations. And after that, you start your first day and on your first day, you actually do three safety tests, which are <laughs> really long. And you start watching videos about how to sell and how to react with people, so you sit like your first day is just sitting in front of the computer just watching videos for like three straight hours videos tests and all of that it's not that fun but you need to know the info so after you're done with that you have your three months training let's say three months of training which yeah everybody i think it's everywhere i don't know if it's everywhere but like they want to check if you are actually good for the store so in those three months you have a game starter which is a book you have 30 chapters in it i'm not pretty sure i did like two years ago you have to do a test after like you finish reading the book or i did it after like a month and a half it's always different i have three months to do it so i did it after a month and a half it was really easy like really basics about how to sell how to measure the foot and all that stuff which are not complicated you really need like you don't need everything in the book but some stuff really do help you yeah, I feel this video is gonna be boring, like I'm talking about it. Anyways, after you finish that test, you're done, no more tests. You get in, you have your three months contract, and then you, you know, get another contract and all that. So you're in now, you're working. So, how does the work work? Is it... How does the work work? Oh. Is it boring? Is it like exciting? Is it easy? 
Well, for me as a sneakerhead, I love shoes, I love selling shoes, and that's why like, I love seeing people buy new shoes. They get, some people get really excited when they buy new shoes, and when I see that, I get happy. That's why I started working Food Locker at first. So, yeah, working is not easy, trust me. I thought it was gonna be easy, but it's not easy. Yeah, the storage, you get, like, you get a shoe, right? You get like 12 pairs of a new shoe, and then you go back to the storage, you need to just move everything just to create the space because you have a number such a number the shoe should be there so you need to move the whole unit and put them right in that spot it's not easy it's not every day you don't have to do that every day but like yeah i think it's not as hard as working outside in the sun in the hot sun but still like it's work and what also is not easy you think like every every customer that's gonna get in and try on shoes is gonna buy it? No, some most of the people won't buy the shoes, and it's like at the beginning, it's not easy just to like really like go through the process again and again. Like three, four customers tried on shoes, nobody's buying, and you and you start thinking, am I doing something wrong? And that's the process at the beginning. Also, they have a few like stuff from Foot Locker that I tell you today. Like this week, we want to sell insoles, so tell the customers to buy insoles. No, we don't lie. We don't say like this thing is good when it's not good. I personally don't and they don't tell us to do that. They never did, but like we need to sell them. People try them on before they buy them. So I know so many people feel like scammed when they buy the insoles, but no, they're really good. And people try them on and really notice that they're much comfortable. So yeah, and then the other day they tell you like, okay, this month we want to sell more like footwear plus, which means more t-shirts, more cleaner and all that. You need just to be really tell the people okay you want to try a shirt on with this shoe and all that stuff it's not easy so especially when you try like in germany it's not easy trust me it's not dealing with the people here is not as easy as you think it is i think in the usa it might be a little bit easier i'm not sure people are more friendly over there but like here it's not easy to convince someone to buy extra like they complain about the shoe price, so when they tell them take a t-shirt for 25 euros or 20 euros, they'll just like... <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna, sh I don't, I don't wanna buy the shoes anymore, so... Yeah, but like they tell you, like Foot Locker tells you, we need to do that and we need to do that. So you have a few st a few goals every day or every week, and we have daily goals, how much we need to sell today, which the manager sets. So that's the whole process in working. It's not the hardest job ever. If you like sneakers, you're gonna enjoy it. But it's also, it's not as easy as you think it is. I really do, I believe it's gonna be easy, but it's not the easiest thing to do. But still, it's fun. I enjoy working at Food Locker. I really do love it. I love the team, I love the manager. Yeah, moving on to the next point, which I forgot. So let me check. Oh, so yeah, about breaks and shifts. People ask like, are you allowed to go back, drink, sit? So while working, you know, you have your stuff at the back in the room, in the office, you have your water bottle, your food. So you're allowed to go back for like two minutes, drink something or eat something real quick. You're not allowed to sit like for five, 10 minutes. But if you go for a minute, like every hour or like every two hours, nobody will, will say anything because you're allowed to drink. You get allowed to go to the bathroom. We actually have a bathroom in our store. Not every store has a bathroom, but we do have. So we're lucky to have that. It is really good <laughs> and yeah, that's in my store. So you're allowed to drink, you're allowed to take a if you're not feeling good, you're allowed to just chill a little bit, it's not a problem. Breaks if you work six hour shift, there's no break. If you work longer than six hours, you get a half an hour. If you work, I guess, over eight hours, you get 45 minutes, and if you work the full day, you get an hour and a half break which is amazing but I mean you work in the full day so you deserve that break yeah so uh, for me I am planned for like for 12 hours a week that's my job there it's like a it's like side job because I also study so it's a side hustle you know so it's 12 hour a week some people work like for longer some people work for like three four hours a week for me it's 12 hours and it's actually like i need to work twice a week or three times a week maximum and i get my hours so if you work over those hours you get like over hours which they pay out every third month it's extra money that you get yeah but yeah that's it about the shifts and the breaks let's move on to your favorite part which you all want to hear the backdooring so backdooring is not allowed it's not allowed i don't know what people say but it's not allowed like we can't do it, the manager can't do it, and we don't do it. What we do is, or what we allow to do, or we get, is like when you get a return. So my store does not get really hyped sneakers, 
we don't get like you know the craziest Jordan ones releases or the Yeezys or anything that like really really hard but we get returns like when people buy Yeezys to resell them and they like break they return them in our store or, like some people just uh, don't want the shoe like Jordan ones some nice releases actually we got a few nice pairs I don't know why people return those but they return them in the store so the employees you know when you return the shoe are the first like we get them first we know about them for the people so we are allowed one of the employees are allowed to buy the shoes when they return them if nobody wants them we just put them outside for the people to buy them so that's the only advantage advantage we get so if we get let's see a sneaker really high then we want to someone call like, yo bro can you hook me up with like two bears i can't do that some people text me like yo can you just back door me a, a pair we can't we're not allowed to do that we don't do that i don't do that nobody in my foot locker does that I don't know about other food lockers, but if someone backdoors you, I'm sure it's not an employee, it's a manager. Because I don't think an employee will risk his job for a backdoor because it's not allowed. And we don't do that. Ah. So backdooring is not allowed. Just just move on about it. Don't ask me about it again because we don't do that and it's not allowed. I said it like five times or 20 times now. Yeah, so. As another question that people, somebody will ask me actually, like the employees discount. Yes, we do get discount because it doesn't matter which store you work at, you get discount there. So we get 30% off, which is really nice if you think about it. But what's not nice is that we, uh, this thing is limited. Like it's th th it's around 1,200 euros a, a year. That means 100 euros a month discount. So you won't be giving your discount left and right you give it to your family members your friends and that's it when you get like your 1200 euros you're done you don't have any discount anymore if you use your card you're gonna pay the difference so it's 30 percent off and we got 50 percent off twice a year so we get three days where we get 50 percent off twice a year which is really good but if you think about it when you buy ultra boost for 50 percent off you get 100 euro discount that means you got 100 euros deleted from your discount so you get minus 100 euros which is also can, which which could be damaging. Like I've been there for two years, both of the years I, w I was like I was like minus something. I never, I just can't. I just buy shoes and my discount is is gone because I give my friends as well and family and all that. So it's discount is good, but it's limited, which is which sucks. I hope they just rise it a little bit because like hundred euros a month, it's really nothing if you think about it. Yeah. So that's about the discount. I'm gonna talk about like managing and all that. So my manager is really, really nice. Shout out to my manager, he's really nice. I really love working in, at my store. I really do love, enjoy going there. Even in my free time, like when I have nothing to do, I just go to the mall, go to my food locker and just chill there with my team and manager because the vibes are really good. The music is not the greatest. Yeah, we we got C we get CDs. Yeah, talking about music, music we get like three CDs every month, which has like all the new music on it. But it's not the greatest music. But yeah, yeah, my manager is really nice. I love my team. I love my Foot Locker. I enjoy working there. If you love sneakers, I do recommend working at your Foot Locker. I don't know how is it in the USA if it's like really different, but I think it's not a big difference between Europe and the USA. Like Foot Locker is a big one company, so. Yeah, I don't think there will be anything different. So yes, I do recommend working at Foot Locker if you're a sneakerhead. I mean, if you're a student or like starting your life, you could work there, get that extra money and also enjoy your work because I really do enjoy my time there. Some shifts are boring where you have no customers and just sitting there and you have nothing to do. But if you have a good team and yeah, if you're in a big city where it's always like crowded, you won't have those moments. But yeah. I really do enjoy it. I do recommend it. If you have any other questions, guys, let me know down in the comments below. That was working in my Food Locker video. Let me know what you think about it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It will mean the world to me. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.